U.S. Naval Academy to uh, to ban uh, will start banning transgender students. Well, anyways, we got our news from USA Today. Um, we do not know uh, where this came from, uh, but with all the new, with how things are now, with you know transgenders and gays getting all these rights and all that. I think this is crazy. I think this is. Uh, I think this is outright uh, insane. I think this is insanity. But uh, I don't necessarily think this is bad. I mean, strict is strict, and that's what the U.S. Army has to be in order to be credible, in order to, uh, uh, in order to continue being a, th uh, the th uh, a threat to uh, you know countries that want to do bad things. Just put it in simple terms or words. Anyways. Um, the academy will currently accept transgender students uh, until 2020, until the school year 2020. I mean, this uh, this is a policy that took effect last week, uh, and it's it's going to reverse an Obama era policy. And um, there's currently, I believe, 14 point uh, like around 14,000 troops right now at the uh, U.S. Naval Academy uh, are transgender. So um, a lot of those, that's what I believe. I'm not 100% sure. This might be overall, but I'm pretty sure it's just at this academy. So. It's a lot of students that, you know, will have till 2020, and then, you know, they're going to have to, uh, you know, the policy kicks in, that's the way things are. But, I mean, it, you know, it's uh, it's one of those things where, you know, we can't, we can't all talk about this, you know, the way we want to, because some people are so, because, because some people are so strict on that, uh, and, you know, some people aren't. But anyways, guys, that is pretty much it. We just wanted to briefly discuss this, and yes, we hope everyone does have a great one.